Hi, good day. A species we haven't seen for quite a while is uh, the vine snake, Thelotornis capensis. And it's here in this tree, believe it or not. Not sure if you're able to see it, but I'm just going to grab it. I'll show you and tell you a few things about it. It will be right here. There you are. This is Thelotornis capensis, the savannah vine snake, or also known originally as oats vine snake. Now you'll notice this one is, is fairly aggressive, and it's arguably the most toxic snake in Africa. You can see she's, she's trying to bite me here. It's a rear fang snake, has a very inefficient venom delivery system, so not many people get bitten by these. Uh, the last death on one of these, as far as I'm aware, was some many years ago. But you can see it's a highly camouflaged snake. It looks the same color as the branches. There, if you can see it against the branches. And these snakes, mostly what they do, they'll climb into a low bush or a low tree like this. And they will extend the first third of the body, just like this one is doing, and remain absolutely motionless for hours and hours and hours. One of the distinguishing characteristics about this snake there you can see the top of the head there's an inverted Y shape brown mark on top of the green head the other distinguishing characteristic is the elongated head and the red tongue with the black another thing you'll notice about this this snake it's inflating the first part of its body that's just telling me it's agitated it's just saying to me go away if you come any closer I'll bite you well, the difficulty that this snake has when it comes to humans, if humans can even get close to it, is that because it's a rear fang snake and it has grooved fangs, it doesn't have Rings. needle type tubular fangs, is that it has to chew in order to inject or envenomate whatever it's biting. Now, these ones eat chameleons, they eat tree living lizards, they may eat small rodents, and occasionally they even eat other snakes. But as you can see, this one is putting on a nice show for you. Very dangerous. Another distinguishing characteristic is, if you can get close enough, is the keyhole-shaped pupil. Now this snake, like most of the tree and bush snakes, has excellent vision. It's believed that they have telescopic or telescopic vision like the birds of prey. So they can see things like chameleons at quite long distance. And they can distinguish objects that are not moving from one another. So I'm going to now stop or cease agitating this snake. I'll let it go somewhere else and it will hopefully quietly go on its way. All the tree and bush snakes are excellent climbers. They're very agile in the bushes and trees. Here he goes. Thank you.